G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. Bacon, cheese, you know this is gonna be fantastic. Especially when you make it nice and crispy on the outside and gooey and cheesy in the middle. So join me today as I make my version of bacon cheese bombs. Now we're going to start off with some mashed potato. Now you can make it any way you like. You can steam it, you can boil it. Just cook it the way that's most convenient for you. So next I have a block of cheese here. Now again, you can use any type of cheese. That's what I love about this recipe. So with your favorite bit of cheese that I've just cut into a cube, we're going to cover that in our mashed potato. Now once covered, we're going to dip it in some breadcrumbs and just cover it the whole circumference of our mashed potato with breadcrumbs. And lastly, we're going to wrap around a piece of bacon. And just with a wooden skewer, just insert it through our cheese ball. And of course, whatever you do, don't soak these wooden skewers because you usually do soak them when you're going to use it for cooking, but these are going to go in hot oil. So don't soak them, whatever you do. So finally, we're going to deep fry them. Now, if you're confident using a pot on a stove, go for it. I'll just use a mini deep fryer here. And I have it set for 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So carefully with your ball, we're just going to place it into the deep fryer and should only take about a minute to cook. The bacon will cook pretty much instantaneously. It's more so you can melt the cheese on the inside. So it shouldn't take long, just keep an eye on it. If you see cheese starting to drip out of it, well obviously pull it out straight away. But of course it just depends on the size of cheese that you've used or the size of the ball. So again, should only take about a minute and it's done. Okay, so that's, that's done now. So just keep on doing them. Do like one or two at a time until they're all done. Now, would you look at those scrumptious balls of goodness. Melted cheese in the middle and covered with mashed potato and bacon. Now, bacon truly is one of those ingredients that just work with everything. So it's not overcooked, it's cooked just right. So when you take a bite into this, you get that ooey cheese coming out. Look at that. And bacon is mm, so crispy. And you put all those ingredients together, especially with this bacon. Oh, bacon. And these bacon and mashed potato balls taste simply delish. And the best part is they literally take just a couple of minutes to prepare and cook. So they're a perfect fresh treat for any get together or as a snack during the day. So thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. As always, I'll leave a list of ingredients down below as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Home Handy Hints channel. And please do me a massive favor by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time for another mm -mm delicious recipe.